Hi everyone, my name is Alain Provo, welcoming you to the tips and tricks of Solid Experts from the Solid Experience Group. So, here it is now, the sequel of our uh, digital manufacturing series. Um, we were talking uh, the last uh, episode about MBD, the advantages of using MBD. So, if we go back inside SolidWorks, on our model that we're going to use. Um, we'll make a little history uh, uh, talk here about why we have now MBD available inside SolidWorks because we've always been able to create 3D annotation on our model. And, and to see that, what I'll do is I'll open up another model that I have for you guys, which is completely done with DIM Expert. So, Dim Expert was the, the tool to use to create 3D annotation on our model. But it had its little limitations. Like you kind of see that everything is stacked up on top of the other. It's a little hard to really make out um, the annotation on the model. And there are very good things. Uh, that uh, happens when you use uh, Dim Expert. Let's say I click on a dimension, you see right away it's highlighted on the model, so it's really cool, really easy to see what the annotation and where it, it is located on the model. But it stops there. You need a SolidWorks to be able to see that. Um, and now MBD brings me more tools to be able to uh, also uh, send this out for collaboration with the drawing, with 3D PDF. So we'll see why um, we can use MBD in a much better way. So I'll jump out again on my complete model here. This way, we'll know which uh, team we're going to use, OK? Um, so this was the model that we were going to use. That part is going to follow us through the, the series, okay? So this is the part that has the MBD annotations now. We'll create more um, on, the, on this part again. I'll, I'll restart it for you guys. So I'll show the annotations and I'll click on the dynamic annotations view and you'll see that now it reacts in a better way when I move my model, each annotation that are specific to a view will appear. But it doesn't stop there. Now, with MBD, you can go at the bottom left corner of SolidWorks and you'll see that I have defined views now in MBD. And this is what MBD brings. It brings logical use of how the dimension will be linked to specific views. And um, also on configuration on your model. So it's going to be even more um, intelligent in the way that, you, that you're going to use it. Um, let's say I have a cut. I want to see what's happening on that cut. Very quickly, you can see that now it is on a cut. So my model is cut. And those dimensions are directly linked to that view. So these are some of the few advantages that MBD brings you and we're going to see that and we're going to see also that we can push that to eDrawing for collaboration. eDrawing will be able to see those views, see also if they are configuration of the parts, all those important things. You won't have to create save as models to do that. It's going to be all in the same model. So I hope this will really, really um, uh, bring your curiosity up for that tool. Um, don't forget we have all the formations for those uh, tools to help you out. And well, I was happy to see you guys and see you on the sequel of this uh, series. Thanks. Bye-bye.